no secret that Candy Burris has always been a Real Housewives of Atlanta fan favorite. Currently serving as the longest standing housewife of any franchise and virtually the most business savvy Atlanta housewife to date, so it makes sense that Bravo has always been obsessed with making us want more candy. But is it just me? Or has things started to shift lately with the way we've been told to perceive candy? If she pop up, do not grab me. Do not grab me. We need to call the police. It's Justin Diego back with another binge worthy video. And today, we have to talk about how it seems like Candy Burris has entered her villain era for The Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 15. And if that's not the case, things have certainly been made to look that way by production. Woo, a lot going on. I know, I am making some pretty bold claims, but <sighs> y'all, I am telling you right now, <laughs> something is up. This villain era edit really started with Candy basically knucking and bucking in the initial Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15 trailer. And now with this full-blown segment where the girls are saying that things are actually way better with both Candy and Kenya not around, I can't just sit here and keep ignoring this. Whenever Kenya and Candy are not around, all of us get along. I never said you clout chase. Well, calm the I'm about to this bitch. No, seriously, y'all, they really went in. And the most crazy part is production was actually providing receipts that backed up Marlo's claims. Energy is different. I mean, the air even smells different. It's like, the good thing about it, art can't go on. Exactly, exactly. And I was absolutely not surprised at all when Kenya Moore hopped on Twitter to blow off some steam, retweeting one fan that tweeted, is Bravo mad at Kenya and Candy? These are not well-rounded full story flashbacks before locking a tweet from another fan saying, the producers and editors are trying to make Candy and Kenya look like villains so much this season in these edits, but it's too bad for them that none of the fans are falling for it despite all of their efforts to make it happen. Before Kenya finally responded to a fan that slammed Marlo's claims that the Atlanta Housewives actually get along a lot better without both Kenya and Candy tweeting, and production keeps showing clips to try to make us believe it's us. Shaking my damn head. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry that happened to you. Well, thanks, I guess. <laughs> and look, I feel like there always has to be a villain. I mean, we literally watch TV for the drama, and if we didn't have a villain, we would all just be bored. And honestly, that has kind of always been Kenya's role, but I'm surprised at how it's obvious that production is definitely showing a different side of Katie this season and low-key trying to make her out to be another villain. Correct. Now, before I get into Candy's response on Watch What Happens Live, I think this will be the perfect time for me to tell you guys about today's sponsor. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean and delicious dinners week after week that you can truly feel great about. They are really the plug if you're like me, trying to eat clean and live a healthy lifestyle. Now, I'm not saying that I'm sitting here trying to unbig my back or anything, but I just want to know that what I put in my body is top tier, sis. Green Chef offers tons of delicious, nutritious recipes with clean ingredients like organic fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains with so many other customization options that make it really easy to try exciting new flavors and unique ingredients like bok choy, asparagus, kimchi, sauerkraut, and quinoa. I spend so much time working throughout the week that I just don't be feeling like going to the grocery store and dealing with all that. So I am just so grateful that with Green Chef, it's so easy to just pick my meals that are honestly way more cleaner and way more nutritious than anything that I'm picking up at the store and honestly just get on with my life knowing that Green Chef is gonna deliver everything right to my front door. This week, I received my boxes and I could not wait to do my unboxing. It was really impressive because all of the ingredients come in this really convenient packaging with everything pre-portioned and pre-chopped with all of the food well organized in these cute little kits that make everything super easy to just follow the recipes that they actually provide for every meal. No, 
Let's not act like I did not show out on these cheesy Italian meatloaves. It turned out way better than I expected, y'all. And it feels so good knowing that this dish was made with a variety of organic ingredients. Y'all, I'm about to go ahead and put chef in my bio. Uh -huh. Don't play with it. <laughs> And the best part is, I was able to lock down a really special offer for my binge watchers. Just go ahead and go to greenchef.com and use code BINGEWORTHY50 to get 50% off plus free shipping on your Green Chef box today. Thank you so much, Green Chef, for sponsoring today's video. And I ain't taking this hat off, so y'all might as well go ahead and get used to it. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the tea. After the latest episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta, Andy Cohen had Candy Burris as a guest on Watch What Happens Live. And say. Right. Where he asked her about some of her behavior on recent episodes, starting first with Marlo's claims about her not wanting to clock in at work. Yeah. What was your reaction to the rumors? Um, to stay out of it. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't get into it. After that, Andy brought up the shady OG incident again involving Marlo's nephew, which was another unfavorable look for Candy. What did you make of her bringing it all up this season? And when they showed the clip, she and I clearly had a conversation about it, and right. I was concerned, but it's just, I don't know what she wanted from me. And I thought it was interesting that they brought up production. And did you feel vindicated by the text messages that production showed? I think she, two years later, why are you bringing it up? Like, if you haven't said anything in all that time, I just think she wanted a moment. She wanted people to, you know, dislike me. And it was also interesting that Candy brought up this obvious agenda that's happening to make her look bad because I assumed that Andy was involved. I don't know what this thing is right now that she okay. wants everybody to dislike me. Okay. But yeah, that's what happens. Do you feel disliked right now? No. I don't know, y'all. This whole thing is just really interesting. I hate it here. It's a bad time. In my last video, we talked about how things went left with Juicedora after she had a random breakdown and some of y'all didn't like the fact that Candy Burris wasn't buying it and Candy claimed that Drew Sedora was putting on for the cameras. I've seen Drew have worse arguments and not get that emotional. Yeah, things got really interesting when Sheree Whitfield brought the bone back to Drew and it became yet another opportunity for production to push their Candy is a villain narrative. When I got up, you were basically saying like, I said, and scene. But and scene to me like, sounds like she thought you were acting. acting. I never found you funny. I never found you entertaining. I never found you smart. I just found you annoying. I mean, I was really happy that Candy Burris just flat out apologized. Dang, we've been building up like a real genuine friendship. So to hear that you did that, I was really disappointed. It hurt. Okay, well, I'm sorry, Drew. But at the same time, though, I thought it was strange that production used that messy confessional that kind of made Candy look like well, a villain. It was a joke, and I was not trying to drag you. Okay. True. You're being dramatic right now. And y'all, I have been covering the Atlanta Housewives for years, and I have never, ever seen conversations like this about Candy with so many fans slamming her for being insensitive and problematic talking about I'm disappointed in Candy as well. She is so insensitive, but when she's ready to get emotional, she expects every person to have empathy towards her. Girl, please. Before this one fan came down really hard on Candy as well, responding. Candy is super insensitive, but be the first one to start crying when she gets into it with somebody. She's always dismissing people's feelings. And say. Right. Before this one, Drew Sedora fan also chimed in saying, I'm glad Drew called Candy out, but what gets me is Candy wants to apologize to her and she's still saying she's being dramatic in the confessional. Girl, it's given fake, exclamation <gasps> point. <laughs> 
And another fan definitely added her two cents responding, Candy was wrong, period. I hate how Candy and her fans feel like she's never wrong and that she can always dish stuff, but when called out on it, she act confused like she doesn't understand the other person's point. Her apology was clearly BS cause then she turns around in the confessional and says, Drew was being dramatic with the stiff face emoji. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on sis. Before another fan chimed in, kinda defending Candy, responding, I feel like Candy only messed up with saying this in front of a group of girls who hate her. <laughs> Yo. Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Do you think that Candy Burris is definitely entering her villain era for the first time ever really on The Real Housewives of Atlanta? Or do you feel like production is being shady and swaying us to see her in a more problematic light? You are out of pocket. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. And y'all, don't forget to click the link in the description box below to get your special offer with Green Chef. Thanks again, Green Chef, for sponsoring today's video. All right, I will see y'all fellow chefs on the next one.